back on the roof. Today we're in El Segundo. Look, there's uh, there's LAX over there. Anyway, uh, this one, I got a blank thermostat. Found the disconnect was off. Anyway, we're going to check this thing and uh, see if we can get her to work. So uh, here we go. Alrighty, so we turn this guy on. Both compressors come on, no problem. Uh, but then the suction pressure drops and it starts to ice up. So I had the fan jumped and the fan's not coming on. Uh, I noticed that there was no airflow, so I uh, came out here and checked this out. Uh-huh. Well, there's our problem. So these are our wires that connect the, uh, the fan. So for some reason they're not uh, connected. So we shall uh, connect up this fan and see what happens. So here we go. Alrighty then, so we got our wires all hooked back up. Just did a butt connector, ran out of butt connectors, it's just a ground, so I hate using wire nuts, but there we go. We're gonna uh, cycle G and see if the fan comes on. Well, the fan came on. So anyway, I'm back on this one. Uh, I think this is a 20 ton unit. Uh, pretty much what's going on is the fan won't shut off. The thermostat's off. I even pulled it off and it's still running. So first thing first, we're gonna see if we're getting a call for a fan and uh, go from there. So you... Okay, so we're not getting a call for fan from the unit. Uh, so I started looking at the schematic. So if we look here, we got uh, our indoor fan motor. Oh no, that's outdoor. Indoor fan motor. So we got blue, goes into the fuses. And then from the fuses goes to 21 on the indoor fan contactor and then yellow is going to go to line and then our black one is going to go into 21. so it looks like somebody wired this wrong so we got black this is line in and then we got our blue one on line in and then we got our uh, yellow one on 13 which is line in so it's just always receiving power so. alrighty so we're missing a contactor so you got one right here for compressor one. You got one right here for compressor two. You have one right here for the uh, condenser fan motor. And then you have one here for the indoor fan motor. One, two, three. And right here, we have a port for the indoor fan motor, which is energizing 26 volts. Cause I have energizing G. And when I remove it, now we don't have voltage, so. This is what controls the contactor. And the reason the fan's running on stop because it's all plugged into line. So there's no relay to turn it on or off. So all we got to do is basically we take one line off and then we put a contactor attached to that and run a common. Problem solved. So this is the one that we came back and uh, somebody cut the wires off. So I don't know what they did. And if you notice here, you got a screw. It's not in all the way. So somebody messed with it. In fact, looks like that's the only screw holding this whole thing in. But yeah, somebody messed with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the client, see what they wanna do. But pretty much this blower's just been running non-stop because there's no switch to turn it on or off. So we're gonna go ahead and see what they wanna do, but it looks like I have to add a contactor uh, so we can control that circuit. Oh, well, we talked to our client. They don't wanna do nothing about it. Uh, Apparently somebody else came out here and said the board was bad, but uh, it seems to be fine to me. So anyway, we were here months ago. Uh, the issue was was somebody disconnected this blower motor um, and told them they needed a new board, but what it turns out is it's just missing a uh, contactor to turn it on and off. So they told me to just leave it where it's been running non-stop all the time. So finally they decided that they want me to fix it properly. So we're here to go ahead and fix it. So we got our contactor, we got some wire. We're going to go ahead and wire this guy up. So. Alrighty, so it's a little windy out here, but uh, basically this is your uh, terminal junction. It's like just a junction box. Uh, so this is your line voltage coming in. So this blue one, this black one, and then one of these, this yellow one back here, that's for the blower motor. So as you can see, it's on the line side of the voltage coming in. So that's why it runs non-stop because it's always powered. So we're going to disconnect that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to go ahead and put uh, the blue and black wires onto the contactor, and then have a line voltage going into it. So, which I think I have wire for that. So we'll see. But anyway, uh, let's get to it. 
Okay, so we got our schematic. Compressor 1, compressor 2, condenser fan motor, indoor fan motor. Blue is going to line, or to the contactor. Black is going to go to the contactor, and yellow goes straight into line. Okay? So here's what we've done. It's line 1, line 2, line 3. So we got yellow in line 1, or line 3. And then we've ran this, or black and uh, red wire. And this is going to go into here, to our contactor. And then the other one will go here, and then these go to the motor. Now on this board we have an indoor fan motor wire here, which is this wire. And we're going to hook that to our coil of our contactor, just like that. And then we're going to run a ground to ground. Uh, or I could run it to, to C, but same thing. Because uh, C actually grounds to the case, so it's going to go the same place. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run a wire from here to the ground. So yeah. And then uh, hopefully it works because, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got it all hooked up. So indoor fan motor going to here, and then from here to ground. And then we have our power taps coming in. This is a two pole contactor and going to our motor. And then this one's on line, on the line three. Uh, so, should work because the last time. Well, you'll see in the video, but I did test that I was getting a call of 24 volts from here whenever I would call for fan. So, it should be fine. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up. I'm going to manually turn that on just to make sure that turns on and off okay. And then we'll start uh, cycling the units. So. Alrighty, so we got our power back on. We're going to go ahead and test it. So, it's not running right now, so that's a good sign. Uh, and uh, this thing squeaks, so don't let, don't let it startle you. All right, so it powers on and it powers off. So now we got to see if when we call for cooling, if it'll do that, which it should. So we know that the high voltage is wired properly. Okay, so we have R to G um, jumped out. So let's see if our fan comes on, turning on the power. Okay, so call for fan works. I'm probably going to adjust that pulley because, uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and stop the call to G by removing this. And it cut off. Alright, so now we're going to try to call for cooling. So we're going to go R to Y1. Alright. So now that we know everything's working properly, uh, we can uh, go try to turn everything on from the thermostat, but now that I've cycled off cooling I want to make sure this cuts off because it's going to be a time delay So but because we have it plugged into that circuit board. It's going to be controlling all that so The only problem that was wrong with this is it didn't have a relay to control the high voltage Whether somebody removed it or there was some other circuit board because I guess the client told me that someone else came out And said they need a new circuit board as you can see the circuit board works fine just needed a relay to actually shut off the motor all right so yeah it works so anyway thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician i am hit that bell notification and follow me on instagram and facebook thanks for watching see you on the next one